Hi there, I'm coming to you from a fun little hostel here in Prescott, Arizona. And this is part one of 12 of traditional Christian lifestyles. And today we're going to talk about those things that Christians don't say. We have a certain way of talking. In fact, if you start to talk to a Christian and you're using rough language and the person you're talking to doesn't and responds to you with clean language, that's a clue. You're talking to a believer. You're talking to a traditional Christian. Now, there's no place in the Bible that says you can't use this word or that word. There's a command that says don't take the name of the Lord your God in vain. But the lion's share of curse words don't have to do with Jesus or God. There are all kinds of words. There's the S word, the F word, the H word, all those words. You know those words. In any case, for me personally, the reason I don't use those words isn't because I'm a prude or I'm following a rule. I believe that words create our reality and the words are very powerful. They don't just describe reality, they sort of create the atmosphere, the vibe around us, and I choose to use positive words of blessing. The book of James says that cursing and blessing can't come out of the same mouth any more than fresh water and salt water come out of the same well. So when we look at something like language, you can tell that you're talking to a believer generally when they don't use those words. It's not just words that come out of our mouths, it's words that we let into our minds. You'll notice that traditional Christians tend to have boundaries around what they watch in terms of media and what they read. They're gonna probably avoid things like porn and things with extreme violence, and they're not gonna watch shows where the F-bomb is dropped every few lines. And the reason for that is that we don't want to let those kind of images and words into our minds because they tend to get stuck in there. And then what's the point? So we want to clean up the atmosphere around us and within us. So we're careful about how we speak and we're careful about what we let into our minds. Why don't you give that a try for a couple of weeks? Keep your ears and your eyes clean by not letting certain things in and Watch what you say and see if that doesn't improve the weather system all around you. That's point number one, things traditional Christians don't say. Join us for point number two coming up real soon.